Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Good evening, good evening. Hi, hi, hi. Good evening, Miss. Excellent. There we have Oscar. Oscar, welcome to the class. How are you? Very good. Fine. Excellent. That's good. That's good. That's, bien. That's very good. Okay. So thank you very much for your puntuality. Thank you very much for being here. I know we had some things to do maybe, but we are here in the class, okay? And this is our last class of the intermediate number two. And we're gonna go to the intermediate number three, okay? I'm just gonna send a message to all the students. Uh, wait a minute, hello. Okay, there we go. Remember that every single minute connected to the class counts. So thank you very much for your punctuality because I know uh, today's attendance is very important, right? Sometimes we have things to do, I know that. But to be here this day is very important because it's the last class we're gonna cover. And also we need to do the survey, right? Because without the survey, we cannot complete this month. Eh, la encuesta es muy necesaria hacerla el día de hoy porque eh, siga usted el siguiente módulo o no siga, hay que hacerlo, ¿ok? Porque es una encuesta sobre este módulo, sobre lo que apareció acá. Pero eh, si sigue o no sigue, pues ya es cuestión de cada quien. Esperamos que sí sigan, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos un objetivo que cumplir. We have yeah. something to achieve. So... Okay, you also sent a message. Okay, so uh, just to be here, be ready, and remember, you have something to achieve. You're learning English because of a reason. Just remember what is the reason, and we're going to be just fine. Also, yesterday we had some presentations, but we could only do one presentation, right? It was group number one. So today we're going to continue with those other four present, I mean, those other two presentations which is group number two and group number three, right? So we're gonna do those today. But before we start with that, obviously, I'm gonna go with the attendance. Then if you have questions, we can answer those questions. Then I'm gonna give you some time to prepare your presentation, okay? So, any questions so far? No, we're all good? Excellent. Okay, let's continue now with the attendance. Porque hoy el tiempo apremia, and, and they send me a message that on more, no, wait a minute, on at, I mean, at 8.30, 8.30, 8.35 actually, we're going to be doing the survey, okay? So please be ready so we can complete the survey here. Let's see. Give me a second. Today is Thursday, 24th. Okay. Okay, remember to have your cameras on. Thank you to the participants that have the camera on. Appreciate it. And to the ones that have not, that don't have the cameras on, please turn it on. You know that is a requirement. And let's go with the attendance, okay? Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Ángela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. Eh, Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Enrique, no, I mean, Eric Enrique uh, Reyes Martínez. Gerson, no, no, no. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. 
present. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. <coughs> Julio César. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. Mayra Patricia Tiga Vázquez. Present, Miss. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Oscar Molina Calidonio. Present, Miss. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Omar Seth Galicia López. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present, Miss. Qué feliz lo veo hoy, Amado. <laughs> okay. Okay, everyone, welcome to the class. Thank you very much again for your punctuality. I know sometimes it's difficult to be here and sometimes we have things to do, but I appreciate the time you're making because today is the last class, right? As you remember, today we have the last class and we're going to do the survey. And the survey, we're going to do it in a couple of minutes, okay? So the presentations, we're going to leave them at the end of the class. Vamos a dejar las presentaciones al final de la clase because if we do the presentations in this moment, it's going to take a lot of a lot of time okay so we're just going to answer one question mainly that's what we're going to do and and then we're going to do the, the the survey because i think at 8 25 we have to start doing the survey ya todos tienen el correo de la encuesta o el whatsapp sí whatsapp sí revisen ahí en los spams yeah, okay. tendría que haber llegado Es un correo o un WhatsApp que dice ahí el, toda la información del módulo. Les ha de haber caído algo así como esto, ya van a ver. O algo así. Y no lo tengo, Miss. Toda la información, ¿no lo tiene? No. No, Miss. Tampoco usé. Okay. Y es también de trabajo. Y... Now share with, with us. Ok, uh, Johnny send it to the Johnny send it to the WhatsApp chat. You can look it up there. Si no, yo igual les voy a ir compartiendo aquí en el chat, right? I'm always sharing the information here in the chat. So don't worry about it. Yes? Yes? Ok, perfect. Excellent. Ok. Now, you guys, we're going to go with this question because the time. We're going to go with this question and then we're going to come back to do the survey. Vamos a venir de un solo hacer la encuesta, okay? This is a conversational activity. There's only, you have to do is the conversational activity. And we have the first question. So, Mayra, can you help me reading the first question, please? Okay, Miss. Is there an emergency plan at your workplace? Excellent. Thank you, Mayra. Say, so you were going to answer that question. We have an emergency plan in our workplace? We have different emergency plans, I believe. Let's go with the next question. Can you please help me reading it, um, Ramiro? Yes, miss. Uh, have you been informed about what to do in the case of fire or an earthquake? Can you repeat this word? Informed. 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 No, on informed, sin la e, informed. 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 Solo informed. Solo como que se pasara de la M a la D. Informed. Ahí está. Informed. Eh, no, uy, en la primera sí. Informed. Informed. Okay. Informed. Okay. Informed. No, informed no. Informed no. Informed. 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 Mm. Solo es el sonido, mire. Informed. 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 No. Informed. Informed. 
informed. Todo junto. Informed. 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 Right, okay. there. There we go. There we informed. go. Informed. That's better. Yeah, that's Thank better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, these are the two questions we're going to answer. The first question. Um, eh, Responde un mensaje de WhatsApp. Sí, Jorge. Yes, I have it. Okay, so. Eh, <laughs> uy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to answer these two questions. The first one is, is there an emergency plan at your workplace? Do you have an emergency plan? What to do in case of emergencies? And the second one is, have you been informed? So do you know, or the company has let you know, what to do in case of fire or an earthquake? What are the things you have to do in case these things happen, right? So do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Yes? Hi. Yeah? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Miss. Thank you. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, <laughs> so if you can send to the WhatsApp chat this, uh, these questions. If not, I'm just going to copy and paste it here in the chat. There you have the questions. So we can go and practice, okay? It's going to be a short activity because then we're going to come back like in less than 10 minutes, I believe, to do the the survey, okay? So in a couple of minutes, we're gonna come back to do the survey. So let's see. Remember, if in your breakout room, the people are not participating, please let me know so I can go there and change it, okay? Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Let's go. There we have the invites. Y ya volvemos en unos 10 minutos para la encuesta, okay? That's all we have to do. Thank you, Oscar. Eric, Rafael, Silvia, Oseas, María Julia, yo sé que están ahí. Let's go. Hello. ¿Puedo compartir alguien? Yo no puedo desde el teléfono. Si no, se lo pueden hacer si no contestan la pregunta, ¿ok? Ok, Miss. Hello, a los demás, solo escucho a Rafael participating. What are the other ones? Let's go. Julia, está por ahí, Julia. Ahí está María Julia, o sea, sí. Hello, Miss. Ahí está el micrófono, Julia. María Julia, el micrófono. Hello. Hello, chicos. Um, tenemos que hacer como una simulación de escape de emergencia. ¿Es, es correcto? No, solo va a responder si en su trabajo hay. Eh, qué hacer en caso de emergencias y si hay algún eh, eh, plan para cuando haya fuego o cuando haya un terremoto. ¿Qué planes hay? Va a hablar de lo que hay en su compañía. Eso es lo que vamos a hablar. Eso es, yo sí. 
Miss, yes. How do you say brigada in English? Brigade. 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 Con del final brigade. Brigade. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, let's go, let's go. Uh, miss, can you uh, send us the, the, the question, please? Of course. Alexander, you have them in the chat, okay? Thank you so much, Miss. You're welcome. Okay, guys. The first one question is, is there an emergency plan? at your workplace? Coca-Cola, dice. Okay. Llevaron a, a lo a seguro. Vamos a ver qué le... A ver, dicen que le dolía el estómago y se desmayó y se cayó. Híjole. Ajá, ahí tenía que... Bueno, en esos casos, yo cuando ya llegué ya se la llevaban para, para la unidad de del seguro, pero es una persona externa que había llegado a revisar informes financieros ahí. Hasta ver. Hasta ver. Okay, okay, in English, practice the questions. Okay. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice desmayo? Fainted. Fainted. Faint with F. Fainted. 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 Yes. The miss painted in the work. Oh, okay. <laughs> painted. Painted the work. Eh, llevar, ¿cuál es el? Llevar. Mm, delivery. Take no. her. Take her. <laughs> take, <laughs> take her. Take like, Yeah, take <gasps> en el de ella, ¿verdad? Her. So take her, la llevaron. Take her. Take her, the unidad de salud. Is. Emergencies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are we participating? Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Okay, perfect. Right now, uh, we're talking about uh, uh, what what to do in case of fire or an earthquake. And we have uh, in our workplace, workplace an emergency plan uh, in case of the fire. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's necessary now uh, where leave the place, uh, the workplace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone is participating? Right now, three people um, participate and uh, uh, begin uh, another classmate. Okay, okay. We have Eric Molina. We have Jennifer, Anna, Jennifer Amaya. Um, in my job, we have a capacitation for my partner send me. Capacitation? No, say workshop. Workshop, okay. Workshop? Yes, correct. Okay. And in the case of fire, in my job. I, I got it. The others. I... In my workplace is um, we have relate to every <clears throat> every case because in fire uh, it's uh, the person in the encargado tenemos encargados para cada caso porque people in charge people in charge yeah because uh, in 
in whatever <coughs> accident or case, eh, ellos actúan. De igual manera, ellos también, hay personas encargadas que dirigen todo el, todo el, el plan, algún, algún temblor o algo. Siempre sale alguien de, liderando el equipo y eh, por eso. Yeah, in my company, we have uh, an emergency plan too. Uh, a few years ago, I was the responsible about the emergency plan. I had to, to train all my personnel, but nowadays I have one person that is responsible. Okay, so we're back. Thank you very much. And now, of course, we're gonna go with the survey, okay? We have, we have a procedure to do before the survey. So I'm gonna show you um, all the things that we're gonna do. So just remember, I'm, I'm, I always have to show you a, a video, right? Before we do the survey. Um, okay, so everyone, uh, please go to your WhatsApp or to your um, email and look for the the message to send about the survey. Now we're gonna watch the video, okay? We're gonna watch the video and then we're going to start. Okay, let me see. Okay, there we go. Corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. 
Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así como tú debes desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Okay, so we're gonna go get to it. Okay. 
Let's see, we have here <clears throat> the link for the survey. I'm gonna send it right now. Si no lo tienen ustedes ahí, I'm gonna send it here to the chat. Perdón, lo voy a enviar al chat acá. Voy a hacer esto en español. Um, El número del curso. Sí, ahorita, 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 ahorita. Pasito a pasito. Vamos a ir entonces acá. Eh, ya saben, ahí eh, vamos a empezar con el número del curso, como dice la compañera, ¿verdad? Que en este caso es este que aparece acá. Lo voy a copiar y pegar para que ustedes puedan verlo. Y lo copiaríamos y pegaríamos acá. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué sería 29750-8048-0? Eh, fleca 2023 nombre completo de ese si no le puedo dar copia pero si quieren le doy copia no worry correo electrónico el que nos ha proporcionado verdad su número de celular el que eh, porta verdad porque me dijeron que algunos habían cambiado el número de teléfono porque cambiaron de compañía entonces ahí el número de teléfono que ustedes utilizan Okay. Miss, dígame. En mi caso, la empresa donde trabajaba cuando empecé el módulo o la nueva empresa. Yo creo que con la que empezó el módulo porque fue con la que se inscribió. Eh, Jorge, si ¿sí me puede ayudar con ese dato, la razón social de la empresa con la que se inscribió, ¿verdad? Sí, sí yo con la empresa inicial me puse. Sí, no sí, con la... sí, 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 es lo más adecuado. Gracias, Mayra, thank you. Por, por eh, registro, por favor. Uh -huh. Correcto, correcto, es la empresa inicial, porque es con la que se inscribieron. ¿verdad? Ya el otro sí pone... El algo. nombre del curso. Eh, ok, eh, ahorita vamos ahí, departamento de residencia, ya saben ustedes dónde viven, municipio. Empresa donde trabaja, ya saben que es la razón social, ok. Si no okay. se sabe la razón social de su empresa, me dice. Empresa que los capacitó, ustedes saben que somos Regal, 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 no sé. ¿Dónde está Regal? Inglés corporativo. Aquí está, decir. inglés corporativo Regal, Regal International. Correcto, gracias. Thank you, Johnny. Inglés corporativo Regal International. Y ahora sí, va el nombre del curso, que lo vamos a ir a copiar y pegar de aquí. Miren. Que sería inglés intermedio, módulo. Si pueden copiarlo y pegarlo así exactamente. Ahorita se los mando al chat. Ahí está. Misa, en mi caso. Diga, Sandra, su caso. Es mi nombre, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, siempre. Aquí las valoraciones, según usted lo considere, ¿verdad? Son las valoraciones que ustedes deben tener. Suficiente el menos. Y excelente el más. Fecha en que iniciamos. La fecha de inicio es el 12 de julio. 12, wow, hace cuánto tiempo. 12 de julio. Y estamos finalizando el día de hoy. Solo le van a dar clic sobre el día de hoy. 24 de agosto. Ok. 12 de julio, 24 de agosto. Aquí es, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción? No sé si usted, si usted quiere continuar o no, no es eso. Se trata de qué le parece, cómo se le ha brindado el servicio, ¿verdad? Si usted sí si, si está satisfecho. Ese sí, número que puso ahí, mis abajo del link, el 29750, es, es el, el código inicial. Correcto. Ok, gracias. Es lo que vamos a poner en la parte número uno, ¿verdad? Okay. Y aquí estos, estos dos sí son opcionales, ¿verdad? Totalmente opcionales si usted quiere que eh, contestarlo. Le puedo dar enviar. Va a tomar una captura de pantalla lo que le aparece después. Y lo va a mandar al chat de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Con su nombre completo. Miss, este, disculpe, eh, 
la fecha de inicio, digo. 12, de julio. gracias, gracias. Uh -huh. Ahí pueden buscar también en el calendario que aparece ahí, ¿verdad? Está. Con las flechitas pueden bajar o subir en los meses. 12 de julio. Ok, todos trabajando en esto, please, porque tenemos que hacerlo sí o sí. Sí, el curso termina ahora, Rafael. Entonces pone como fecha de finalización 24 de agosto. Vaya. Bye, bye. Hoy termina. Ma. Hoy termina. El curso, sí. Y ahí hasta, hasta ahora, hasta otra semana. Pues la que fue. No lo molesté, hombre. <risa> no me dejan escuchar Qué feo, la presentación, le hombre, yo escuchaba sí, sí, bueno, sí. bueno. <risa> yo ahí estaba escuchando que ya va a terminar el curso que... a otro... sí, mi mamá que me está mandando a dormir ya <risa> dígale que mañana va a dormir temprano dígale mañana tempranito, tempranito. ay no. Mis, el, número de, el nombre del curso mis es inter, yeah. inter... Dos. Ahí el que le mandé, correcto. Inglés intermedio módulo 2. Ok, gracias. Lo mandado en el chat, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Solo vamos a esperar unos minutitos que termine los clases, ¿ok? Teacher. Dígame, tell me, Mónica. Eh, dice el nombre del curso que dijo que era. Es el mensajito ese que acabo de mandar que dice inglés intermedio módulo 2. Ahí lo vuelvo okay. a pegar. Gracias. Okay, we're ready. Washings, we finished. Ve ahí que tengo solo un par de mensajitos. No todos lo han enviado, ¿verdad? Not everyone has sent it. Oscar, Jocelyn, José Alfredo, Ramiro, Rafael Antonio Martínez. Johnny Me hizo que no volviera a llenar, no lo puedo creer. María Julia. Pero ya le, no le apareció el mensaje que decía gracias. No, me, me mandó a que lo llenara otra vez. Híjole. Ah. Creo que por qué no copié y pegué esto. ¿Lo del código o qué? Sí, eso es. Bien, María. Lo... 
Julia, Ana Verónica, Sandra Yanira, Amado Javier, Mayra Artiga, Eric José Reyes Molina, Rafael Antonio Hernández, Eric Enrique, Jennifer Esmeralda, Denis Enrique, Silvia Patricia. Ahí estoy esperando a los demás, ¿verdad? Blanca, correcto. Me falta Mónica, creo, ¿verdad? Mónica. Hola, sí, es que se me fue el internet dos veces y me tocó empezar de cero, ¿sabes? Ok. Es regal, ¿verdad, maestra? Regal. Y es inglés corporativo, regal international. Inglés corporativo, regal, international, ok. Yes. <coughs> okay. ¿Qué fecha empezamos? No me recuerdo, 26. Empezamos el 12 de julio. Ok. Y esperamos unos minutitos para que estén los compañeros después vamos a ir a hacer una actividad y los que se queden pues me voy a quedar con ellos con los que estén en puesto just two minutes more las 8.45 ok ay no lo sé no me la dejo no. terminar no dice your response has been successful record dice eso ya su respuesta ha sido eh, guardada Ok, hacerse la madre entonces. No dice thank you, pero dice eso. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok, well, so we're going to go uh, back here with another thing. Let me see. We're going to continue and we have a reading activity, ok? So uh, we're going to do the reading activity. I'm going to read it for you. And then, eh, cuando termine todo, volvemos con las presentations, ok? But right now we're going to do this, ok? Let's see. Practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also, practice filling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit, exit route. But if you must escape through smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases, which can disorient you or at works overcome you. 
Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door, the door knob, and the crack between the door and door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. If it feels hot, use your secondary skate route. Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting place location away from the building, for example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of a driveway or front sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first, then notify the fire department. Never go back into a, burn, a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters. They are equipped to perform res rescue, rescues, I'm sorry, rescues, to perform rescues safely. Finally, Having working smoke alarms installed on every level of the building dramatically increases your chances of survival. Smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and changed with new ones at least once a year. Okay, I'm gonna read it one more time and then if you want to ask me something about pronunciation or intonation, you can. Practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The plans have two ways to get out of each room. I mean, the best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also, practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark or, or with your eyes closed. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route. But if you must escape through smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases, which can disorient you or at work overcome you. Never open doors that are not that are hot to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door. The door knob and the crack between the door and the door frame to make sure that the fire is not on the other side. If it fit, feels hot, use your secondary escape route. Designate a meeting plan outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or front sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first, then notify the fire department. Never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters. They are equipped to perform rescues safely. Finally, having working smoke alarms installed on every level of the building dramatically increases your chances of survival. Smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and change with new ones at least once a year. Okay, so do you have questions with pronunciation or intonation? Javier, tell me. Yes, miss. I, I don't know what this meaning uh, rough. Roof? Roof. Then it is the one. Light, yes. What is in your house to cover you from the rain? Uh, yeah, correct. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
es ruso. Y eh, crawl. Remember to crawl loud. Crawl. When crawl is what the babies do before they walk. When a baby, when a baby, a baby, little kid, right? Yes. Before they walk, they crawl. Ah, got that. Yeah, correct. Good. Wow. Thank you, Miss. More questions, you guys? Miss, I, I, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, and, and never open doors. And the dog door, door knob. Door knob is what you use to open the door. Oh, oh La wow. yes. Exactly. He pronunciation pronunciation pronunciation. Door knob. Door, door, así, door, knob. Door, 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 knob. The K is silent. Ah. The K is silent. Door, knob. Okay. Door, door, knob. Okay. Okay. Verónica? Oh, it's okay. okay. Thank you. Questions, you guys? No more questions? If there are no more questions, okay, I'm gonna send you the audios. Audios. Audios, no. Yeah. <laughs> to the WhatsApp. Yeah. Group. Okay, let's go. Okay, boy. Voy a mandarles uno por uno. Practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways out. Practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the, if the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window, onto an adjacent roof. Also, practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route, but if you must escape through smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases which can disorient you or at worst overcome you. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door, the door knob, and the crack between the door and door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. If it feels hot, use your secondary escape route. This designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or front sidewalk. To make sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first, then notify the fire department. Never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters. They are equipped to perform rescues safely. Finally, having working smoke alarms installed on every level of building dramatically increases your chances of survival. 
smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and changed with new ones at least once a year. I have a question for you guys. Do you know what is a... Do you know what is a sidewalk? Acera? Yeah, correct. Good job, Ramiro. Acera. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I was just wondering because I was like, oh. Yes. Yeah. Javier? Uh, what pronounce, pronunciation when far occurs? Oh. Mm -hmm. In Emma, that. When a, when, fire, fire, when a fire occurs. Occurs. Yeah, occurs. When a fire occurs. Thank you. Miss, miss, I'm sorry, but I don't want to say in the third, uh, never open doors that are hot to it in the second line, when say, and the crack between the door and door frame to make sure. I don't know what they mean, crack between. The crack is a little space between two things. Space between? Two things. So the crack between the door and the door frame, for example, this is the door and this is the door frame. So this is space between them, that is a crack. Okay. Do you got it, you guys? Yeah? Yeah. No, Javier? Yes, like Messi. <laughs> no, that's that and that thing. No, it's like this. For example, in my fingers, this is a crack. Oh, crack. The, the little space. space. Yeah, the little space. What it will be in Spanish? I don't know. Like, siempre entre la puerta y la pared hay un hay un little space like this, right? So that little space is the crack. Hendidura. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. Entre la puerta y la mocheta. Well, una luz, le dice uno. Hay una luz. Sí, una luz. Yeah, correct. So that's a la crack. But crack. also you can have a crack, you can have a crack on anything. For example, if your glass eh, or if a cup um, falls into the floor, se cae en el suelo, it gets a crack. Okay. Rajadura. Yeah, exactly. Or you can have a crack on the street. Yeah, a crack. Okay, think, take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group so we can practice this. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, miss. Oh, or you have the screenshot already. I think you have the screenshot already. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think Oscar sent it. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you again to the people who have the cameras on. Remember, that is very important. Okay, let's go.
Omar, Sandra, Rafael. Let's go to the break rooms, you guys.
uh, meet outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or front sidewalk to make your chain survive. Smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and change with the new ones on least ones a years. Uh, Maria Julia, you can start and practice escaping. Yeah. And I read it immediately. Ah, in the reading immediately. Uh, ah. Practice escaping, the number one. Okay. Oh, and, practice and escaping. The second phrase. Y podemos escuchar de nuevo para luego continuar, ¿no? Yes. Ok. Practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the, if the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also, practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route, but if you must escape through smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases which can disorient you or at worst overcome you. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door. Out, like a window onto a adjacent roof. Also, practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route. But if you must escape, escape throw smoke, remember to crowd low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases which can desert you or are worse overcome you. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to a close
Okay, practice good. In three more minutes, we come back and I'm gonna choose some people to read. I'm talking in the microphone, so. 
Okay, you guys, um, I'm gonna choose some people to read uh, some parts of this. And then we're gonna do the presentations that we had to do yesterday, okay? Let's start with... Jennifer Amaya, please. Okay, practice escaping from every, every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also, practice filling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Excellent, good job, good pronunciation. Just this one will be, but like in the second one, ya lo dijo bien. But this one, building, right? Building. building. Thank you very much. Vamos con Eric Josué. Go in this part. Eric Josué Reyes. Puede empezar, Eric. No. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Johnny. Yes, miss. Okay. Immediately leave the place. When a fight occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit road, but if you must escape through the smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases which can disorient you or, at worst, overcome you. Excellent, good job. Thank you, Johnny. Just wait a minute. Root, root, no, root, root, and smoke. smoke. Okay. okay. Root. Excellent. No. Okay. Okay, let's go with the next person. No. Let's see. Eric Josué, ¿ya puede participar? No. Ok, let's go with Jennifer. No, Jennifer ya pasó, perdón. Las cámaras apagadas. Sandra. Go with Sandra. Ok, Miss. You open doors to our hot the touch when you come to a glass of dirt you use the back of your hand and feel to talk to the door the dirt now and the crack between the door and door from to make sure that's fire fire is not on the other side it is feel hot. Use your secondary escape roller. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Good job. So vamos a corregir unas pronunciations. This one is closed. Peel. Close. Frame. Frame. Root. Root. Okay, yes. Thank you. Let's go. Julio puede participar. Can you participate, Julio? Ok, uh, Mónica Ábalos. Hola, ¿me escucha? Yes, I can hear you. Ok, uh, design a meeting place upside and take attendance. Design a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a specific tree or the, or the end of that driveway. 
or from sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten out safety and no one will be hard looking for someone who is already safe. Excellent, Monica. Thank you very much. Solo vamos a corregir unas pronunciations. Solo dos. Outside, out. Outside okay. and safely. Okay. Okay. Let's go with Ramiro. Once out, out stay out. Remember to escape first, then notify the fire department. Never go back into the burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters they are equipment to perform risk safely. Okay, thank you very much, Ramiro. Good job. Just a few corrections okay there will be building building reason reason equipped equipped rescues rescues excellent thank you very much thank you miss mm -hmm. eric reyes can you help me for sure um finally uh, having working smoke alarm installed, installed on every level of the building drama, dram, dramatically oh increases increases your chance of survival. Smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and charged with new new ones at least once a year. Okay, thank you very much. Just a few corrections. That will be this ones. Installed. Installed. Changed. Changed with one. Tia Dieng. Yeah, once. Once. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay so um I'm gonna go with the presentations we were missing because we had to do those presentations. So let me see. Uh, we were missing group number two and group number three. It's not a, no sé si necesitan tiempo de reunirse. Yo creería que no porque este es algo corto, ¿verdad? But if not, I'm gonna make you go to the break room. So it will be Dennis, Eric Reyes, Jennifer Amaya, Johnny, Mayra, and Rafael Martinez. In the other group, Ana Veronica, Eric Josué, Jose Alfredo, Mónica, Oseas, Rafael Castillo and Silvia Patricia. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Bien, los demás ya pasaron, ¿verdad? Javier, Jocelyn, María Julia, Omar, Oscar, uh, Ramiro, Sandra, Verónica. Ustedes ya pasaron, ¿verdad? Yes, Miss. Ok. Bueno, vamos a unir. Yes, Miss. Entonces, Les voy a dar un momento ahí. Si quieren practicar la lectura, eh, o bueno, no sé si necesitan reunirse los demás. ¿Creen que necesitan reunirse los que van a pasar a, a presentar? ¿No? ¿No? Bueno, ahí dice Ana Verónica que no. I think no, Miss. Ah, ok, ok. So then let's go. So let's go with group number two. In this case, it will be Dennis, Eric, Jennifer, Johnny, Julio, Mayra, and Rafael. Ok, let's start with them. Okay, good evening. Um, the, the, the topic is rollout machine. 
risk and hazard. Operator working with you high speed. Operating only one and the machine needs operate with two staff or two people. The operator was a new employee and without technical training. In that moment, the supervisor don't stay in that area. Uh, go okay. ahead. Of course. Um, consequences caused uh, the first high speed in the roll machine could the left arm distraction with the mobile disability permanent and social security made an accident investigation and covered the disability warning for the supervisor because not checked um, the process and operator at the end overlord for product demand 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 okay that's it okay only two participations okay yeah. okay well okay so let's go with the group number three uh, we have Ana Veronica, Jerico Sue, Jose Alfredo, Monica, Oseas, Rafael, Silvia. Okay. Okay. So we are we're going to talk about the famous case of Mr. Donuts. Okay. And the risk is health risk. And the consequence. So we have stop production, decreased sales, loss of customers trust, company closure, financial loss, mm -hmm. and property damage. That is all we have. Okay, only your presentation. Okay, okay. Thank you, Seas. Yeah, it was, it was a, it was a, it was a big deal, right? Like when they found a cockroach. Do you remember when they found a cockroach in the, in the donuts? It was a big. Yeah. People were talking about that. But now in September, I see people buying donuts again. Right? They buy donuts again. It was like. It happened once. Yo siento que la de, esto del consumidor y la Ministerio de Salud y todo eso se ponen bien, bien exigentes con los negocios pequeños, ¿verdad? Like lo que tienen que tener para los negocios grandes. We don't know. We don't know, right? How they cook and everything. It should last be. Year, last year closed the, the one restaurant, the Mr. Donald. ¿Cerraron uno? Yeah. Why? Eh... Cucarachas. Cockroaches. No sé cucarachas. Like, like cucarachas se dice cockroaches. Cockroaches. Y esas cacerolas que sacó, o sea, esas son las que estaban ahí haciendo. ¿no? Mm. Sí, así es, se veía todo antihigiénico. Entonces, por eso lo cerraron. Bueno, ya están inventando pa... hacer comida china. Ellos. Y eso, por. Eran bien crunch, eran crunch, crunch. Es parte del menú. Y también alguien, alguien sacó una, uh, la cabeza de una cucaracha, era en una dona. Y la abrió así y ahí aparecía. La pero, pero los chinos siempre hacen eso, tengan cuidado, porque yo hace años fui a comer a un restaurante chino y, y nos habían dado camarones empanizados y una compañera se fijó que no eran camarones, eran bocarrones empanizados. De esos mm. mo, mo, moscas verdes, chucas grandes. Créanme lo que fue. Es factoso ver eso. Ellos, ellos la cultivan. Los ratones. Crean que los okay. carrones. Voy a detener la conversación aquí porque, porque yo soy bien. Eh, eh, entonces ya voy a empezar y no, ¿verdad? Y, y, en, y en septiembre venden las tonas, así que no. De limón ácida. Buena fama. 
no, no, no. no eh, el año pasado después de eso se bajó un poco la cola porque en la cola eh, hay un misterio ahí en el platillo ¿eh? ¿Sí? ¿Vale? ¿Qué he ido a comer ahí? No me diga eso. no, no, de la cola llegaba antes hasta allá hasta el colegio adelante de la despensa de Juan y ya después de eso bajó un poco pero no, no, ese es el que cerraron era otro de los Ese es de los más nuevecitos, creo yo. Sí, de los de 24 horas. Ahorita, si usted quiere ir a comer ahí, son las 9. Ahí está abierto, puede ir a comer. Ahí me quedaba cerca bueno. cuando, cuando iba a trabajar a San Salvador. Bueno, anyways, anyways, let's change the subject because I cannot handle it. A mí, yo soy bien, like, mm -mm, no. My case, no. no. It doesn't work for me. Okay, so what are we going to do right now in this moment? You're going to propose a Air an earthquake um, plan, okay? What would you, imagine you're gonna do a workshop, you're gonna do a workshop, and you have to give advices on what to do on a fire and what to do on an earthquake, okay? You have to give me at least five advices or five instructions to follow in case of fire or in case of an earthquake, okay? Got it, the activity? Eso es en el cajuto, Alon. No. <risa> no, right now, right now, right now. Después, si nos queda tiempo, hacemos un cajuto, ¿ok? Ese módulo no es un cajuto, ¿verdad? No, para no lo abandonado. Yeah, yeah. No ha puesto cajuto. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Ok, let's go. Fire alarm, fire, I mean, fire rootscapes and an earthquake, five advices or five instructions on what to do, okay?
Okay. Sería otro. Yeah. Okay. And get under the table. Keep calm. Ah, también. Needed point. Ah, lo cual. Igual que. Eh, por ahí le pusimos en, en el, en el okay. chat. Keep calm. Es casi lo mismo que puse yo, lo pongo. Y hasta en inglés. Ok. The below plan to combat the fire and putting the alarm system at the procedure for extinctures. It's okay, Ramiro. It's good, good. ¿Verdad? Entonces, y aquí están los pasos. Donde okay. dice que hay que evaluar la los planes de, para preparar el respectivo reporte después. Pongámoslo en un documento entonces. Eso. Ok. ¿Quién tiene la pantalla? A Dennis. No. No. O, o sea. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, ok. Excelente. Give me a No one's working here. Okay, Mayra. Mayra is working. Mayra, are your classmates working? We have Jennifer Amaya. We have Silvia Patricia. We have Julio. We have Ana Veronica. And we have Rafael Castillo. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Ahí démosle a la compañera, pues. Let's go with her. Comité, claro, comité, pero tiritas.
donde dice todos los, no es todos, es de Mayra, equipo y herramientas.
Hablo en francés. Hablo en francés también, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero eso es en Quebec. En Quebec. En Quebec. Pero este, ¿cómo se llama? Under the table. Para irse para allá, uh, lo más fácil es irse a estudiar. I avoid selling in places with the risk of collapse. Or seeing the can fall on us. Call emergency if necessary. Stay away for window glass mirror, mirrors. Exception door of walls. And anything that could, could, uh, could or on you search as lands and furniture. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. I. Mm -hmm. Yo lo voy a ayudar con gusto hoy. Claro, claro que no. Pero... Develop a plan to combat the fire, including the alarm system and the procedures for extinction. Removal of easily, easily burning materials near the fire to prevent it. Bueno, I saw your presentation. I don't think we're going to do them right now because it's late. So thank you very much. Um, We're going to go with the last Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go with the last attendants. You're anxious. Ya lo vi que están ansiosos por eso. Okay. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Blanca Ángela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. I'm here. Eric José Reyes Molina. Present. Esmeralda Maya Arias. Tony Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Agrado otra vez, Alfredo. Ah. Natalia Angelita Ramírez Melgar. Jocelyn is there, no? Okay. Uh, Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Eh, Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Present, Miss. Mónica Wendy Avalos Girón. 
present. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Sea Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Cer Present, Miss. Silvia. Present, Miss. Omar Zed Galicia López. Present, Miss. Omar Javier Rudia Rivera. Present, Miss. Okay, that will be it. And maybe I will see you in the next module. Maybe I won't, but keep on studying. Recuerden estudiar y cuál es el objetivo por el que están aquí, ¿verdad? Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you're welcome. you. Okay, Thank good night. You. Thank you, Miss. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Ya vimos. See you. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Nos vemos en otro módulo. Hopefully. Yeah. Bye. Bye, bye. Take care. Yeah. Buenas noches. Good Have night. a good night. See you in another model. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Take care. Bye, -bye. Bye, Rafael. Bye, Javier. Bye. Verónica. Bye. Omar.